Join us for the very first IFL Live at London's Indigo at the O2, Sunday, August the 13th, with me, Coogan Cassius, and some very special guests, Eddie Hearn, Darren Barker, Johnny Fisher, and more. Tickets now on sale. So in the words of Eddie Hearn... You get up, you dress up, and you fucking show up. Close, I'll get your quick reaction to that. I thought it was close. 95-95, or if you want to give it 94-96 to Marshall, it was close. It was a good fight by both girls. It was good. Who did you think, honestly, dude? When you looked at the fight, did you score the fight? Who did you thought won? I thought it was 95-95. I mean, we, we went into the eighth round, well, the, the ninth round. I'm like, shit, this fight is 4-4. Because Franchise clearly won the first three rounds, and Marshall couldn't get in the rhythm. But when she got in the rhythm, she did, she did pretty good. And, um, yeah, it was able to... It was close rounds. I feel like it depends on what you were watching. It was a lot of wrestling and stuff going on, but I feel like, like I said, it was 95-95. What, what does that do for the rematch with you and Savannah? Does that make it happen and does that set it up as an even bigger rematch? Yeah, she going to come to America. I already beat her over here. You want to beat her over here again? Yeah, well, listen, I'm not disputed, I'm disputed. How many times will that be if you take Savannah's back? I'm four times undisputed when I beat her again. What does that, what does that do for your career? Does that... A cemented legacy and all that? I'm already cemented. I can retire right now. I'm going in the Hall of Fame. You mentioned America. You mentioned Detroit for a homecoming in Detroit against Savannah Marshall. What does that sell? Where would that go? It would do 18,000 fans. It would do a lot of money, a great TV deal, and um, it'd be undisputed versus undisputed, like Charlo versus uh, Canelo. Would you go up to 168? Is that what you're saying? Would you go up to? Why not? The thing is, it doesn't matter about the weight class. You know, she's making all these excuses. Oh, oh, oh I can't make 160. All this shit now. When it was like, you, you said you made 160 comfortably. When you were strong at 160 and you made the weight. So why all of a sudden, now that you lost, now you're saying that you weren't comfortable and you were drained and you are tired. But then, in the build-up, you said you had the best camp of your life. You're in the best shape. But now you're saying that you can only fight at... 168. I think it's just being lazy and not wanting to cut the extra pounds. But that's okay because I got these big muscles and legs so I can fight at 168 and I can beat her there and she knows that. So let's not start all this. Oh, Clarissa's scared of Savannah at 168 because I'm not. And the performance I've seen tonight, she's going to get knocked out in our rematch. She better clean it up. She needs to get I don't know what they're doing with her or if she's just on a decline. But tonight I thought that if she would have won, it would have been like in a big fashion, not a 95-95 type fight. I was going to ask that. You, you said that you were going to knock out in the rematch, so I was going to ask the question was, were you impressed with Savannah at all tonight? No, <laughs> I wasn't. She fought better against me. Tonight, it was a lot of wrestling. She couldn't, she didn't use her jab properly. Um, she couldn't land her shot. She was falling short with the right hand. I don't know what kind of stance she was in, but I don't agree with it. But I will say, when she started putting them together and throwing a one, two, threes and a body shot, she did well. But um, when you see that a fighter is roughing you up, you should switch a game plan, and she didn't. I know there's probably loads of media here want to get a grab of you, so I've already had you this afternoon, so I'll let you go. I'll see French on before I do the rest of y'all. Thanks very much, Clarissa. Thank you. Join us for the very first IFL Live at London's Indigo at the O2, Sunday, August the 13th, with me, Coogan Cassius, and some very special guests. Eddie Hearn, Darren Barker, Johnny Fisher and more. Tickets now on sale. So in the words of Eddie Hearn... You get up, you dress up and you fucking show up.